Number 44, find the resistance that must be placed in series with a 25 ohm galvanometer having a 50 microamp sensitivity, same one as discussed in the text, to allow it to be used as a voltmeter with a 0.1 voltage full scale reading. All right, so um, essentially what we have to realize is, uh, is that we have this uh, 25 ohm uh, galvanometer and we're gonna connect then another resistance in series uh, with this resistance. So you know that then we're probably gonna to have to calculate the equivalent resistance in series. We'll probably have to add those resistances then up, right? Um, now, if we look at this from an Ohm's law perspective, in other words, that the current flowing through uh, the particular circuit here will be equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. What I realize is that, you know, the total voltage here by the, of the, you know, circuit will equal then the total voltage supplied by the circuit divided by that total resistance. Now this total resistance is essentially the equivalent resistance. Which remember, if these two things are in series with one another, as it said in the problem, we would just be adding them together. So we basically have something that looks like this now. We can call this R1 plus then the resistance of the galvanometer. Now we have everything we need, right? The current they told us was 50 microamps, but you know we need that in amps, so just simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus sixth. The voltage here they gave us, the full scale rating is gonna be 0.1. All right, the R1 is what we're solving for, and then the resistance of the galvanometer was given, or 25, right? So now we're just gonna simply solve this, do a little cross multiplication, a little swap right? Just like that, notice, beautiful. And then we're gonna subtract the 25, whoops, subtract that 25 from both sides, and we're gonna be left with now just this formula, basically. And that's what it's equal to. So let's plug it that into the calculator. So 0.1 divided by then 50 times 10 to the minus sixth, and then we're gonna subtract 25 from it. And here we go. We're gonna get 1975. So it's gonna be 1 1.9, I guess, eight times 10 to the third. And that will be in terms of ohms. All right, and there you go. That's the resistance. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Hit that like button if you can. And uh, we appreciate it. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care.